Republicans are often recognized for their political efficiency, but this time they may have overreached. The announcement of Joe Biden's withdrawal from the presidential race poses a significant challenge for Donald Trump. This election has always been a battle between age-related forgetfulness and age-related anger and aggression. Now, Trump will confront a younger and more dynamic opponent at a moment when voters have expressed a strong desire for new leadership and fresh ideas. Trump and his party set the situation in motion by launching their efficient attack strategy too early. Last month's debate clearly indicated that Biden is no longer meeting the expectations Americans have for their president. This isn't necessarily Biden's fault. He has had a distinguished career in the Senate, served as vice president, and has accomplished much as president. However, age affects everyone. Four years ago, Biden was seen as a defense against the rise of Trumpism, a sentiment echoed by Democrats and needed again in 2024. To secure their victory, Republicans should have maintained the Democratic illusion of Joe's fine until after the Democrats' convention, making it too late to select a different candidate. In the first debate, Trump could have emulated Ronald Reagan, responding to questions with a friendly demeanor and waiting for the second debate to highlight Biden's weaknesses. This distinction highlights the difference between tactics and strategy. Now, regardless of whom the Democrats nominate, Trump will face a tougher challenge. He'll need to justify a Republican Party that, as revealed at their convention, seems to support a return to Soviet-style policies and expresses unwarranted fears about immigrant workers. To maintain support from his crucial right-wing evangelical base, Trump will have to align with their demands for stringent abortion restrictions, despite consistent voter opposition to such measures in both blue and red states. Against a more nimble challenger, he won't be able to get away with his previous claims regarding Democrats and late-term abortion. Additionally, to keep his wealthy donors satisfied, he'll need to advocate for the Heritage Foundation's controversial Project 2025, which aims to dismantle many vital aspects of American life. Now it will be interesting to see if the Democrats can outmaneuver Republicans strategically, which is not their usual strength. While there are several candidates who could potentially defeat Trump, the Democrats have one clear frontrunner, Michelle Obama. Polling indicates that other possible candidates, including Vice President Kamala Harris, whom Biden endorsed after announcing his exit, trail slightly behind Trump, putting them in a position of needing to play catch-up. In contrast, Michelle Obama outperforms Trump by 11 points in the same polls. Since her husband's presidency ended, she has supported other candidates while consistently claiming she is not interested in running. However, she has also expressed being terrified about the possible outcomes of the upcoming election. While she may not actively seek the nomination, it would likely be difficult for her to decline if delegates at the Democratic National Convention were to rally for her next month.